Kremlin says they only want Ukrainian territories included in Russian constitution. Here's a summary of the article. Details. A journalist asked Peskov whether Russia wants to occupy new Ukrainian territories, apart from the four oblasts. For reference, since 2014, Russia has been conducting a hybrid aggressive war against Ukraine, occupying Crimea and part of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts. In February 2022, the Russian Federation launched an open, full-scale invasion, also seizing part of Kherson and Zaporizhzhia oblasts. Russian troops occupied part of Chernihiv and Kyiv oblasts at the beginning of the full-scale invasion, but later they were forced to retreat. On 5 October 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed laws on the acceptance of the occupied territories of Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhzhia, and Kherson oblasts of Ukraine into the Russian Federation. Thus, the Russian government unlawfully considers occupied Crimea and these territories as parts of Russia. At the same time, Russia also still controls a small part of Kharkiv Oblast, which it did not include in its constitution. This post received a score of 7,200, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Months later, we just included more land in our constitution so, the rules say you have to comply. Oh look Jamaica, Hawaii, and a little pony is in the constitution too. Hey, going after Twilight Sparkle is crossing the line. Time for nukes. Friendship is atomic. Only. Dot dot dot. For now. And an agreement that Ukraine can never join NATO. When they thought they could take the whole country, negotiations were off the table. When they weren't advancing and wanted to end the conflict so they could focus on advancing to Berlin. Suddenly there had been a misunderstanding and negotiations had always been on the table and they'd never even wanted to take the whole country in the first place. Because they can't bring themselves to admit the war is going badly for them and they gave up on achieving their goals, and want to stop and settle for less, even if they didn't get what they originally wanted. Thus, they totally never wanted to demilitarize and denazify, and purge the whole country and change the government. Marching to Kyiv? Never happened. What are these anti-Russian malicious propaganda lies? Putin made an address stating such? You misunderstand his meaning. No no, we only ever aimed for these territories we happen to control now, and only because their people begged us, we only ever wanted to help. Look it's even in our law, we have achieved all what we wanted so uh, we can all stop now, da? Russia strong and victorious. I mean they already claim to have demilitarized Ukraine by destroying all of their superior Soviet equipment, forcing them to rely on inferior NATO equipment. The Nazified Ukraine so hard there are once again German tanks in Ukraine pushing their forces east. Funny enough, those German tanks are now pushing the Nazis out of Ukraine. And Hitler only wanted the Sudi Tenland from Czechoslovakia. Not buying it for a second. Hitler promised he wouldn't invade Czechoslovakia. Jeremy. Welcome to the real world. Definitely read the original comment in Mitchell's voice. Lavrov to Putin. Are we the baddies? The Russian constitution also guarantees these rights. Equality before the law right to life and dignity freedom of speech and expression freedom of the press and media freedom of assembly and association freedom of religion right to privacy right to education right to work and social security right to a fair trial right to vote and participate in government right to property right to environmental protection they can just pretend they own all the territories just like they pretend all these rights exist in Russia. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.